and happy Monday. Figured I would start off a new vlog. I'm Sydney, if you're new here. I figured I'd probably just do the next couple days. I've got kind of a, it's like the first week in the new house. I moved here, if you are new here, I moved here. It's been a little over a week now, but I'd say it's probably been three days since we've actually felt like we have everything in order and Honestly, yesterday was probably like the first day things really seem like they are in its place. Organized, we had our first Sunday reset, got groceries, did all the things. So I already know it's gonna be a really great week. But I just got all ready. And also, Jay and I went on a walk, uh, on a run actually on Saturday. And I woke up this morning and I said to him, is it normal that I'm this sore from running two miles? Like, let, let me know because I can hardly move my body. <laughs> But luckily, I'm doing back and biceps today. So I'm ready for a good workout and I am wearing this Align. Actually, the whole set is Align from Lululemon. Align bra and then also it's the True Navy color and then also Align leggings. And then I have these Adidas sneaks on. So time for a good workout. I'm gonna take my pre-workout. And I also, last time I went to work out, I brought mics because I finally got, well, we've had mics for a long time. Finally got them all set up and they died, or actually my camera died on me last time. So this time we're gonna get, um, I'm probably gonna get some clips, bringing my mics with me. We'll see how busy it is at the gym and get a good workout in. So happy Monday, y'all. Also, I'm back to take, is this not absurd? <laughs> Do we have enough supplements? I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. Um, this is the one that I'm taking right now. I take, so a lot of people were asking because I did Stim Free for a little bit. So I still will take Stim Free if I am like drinking coffee that day. Lately I haven't actually been drinking much coffee, but I've realized I can't do coffee and pre-workout in the same day. Actually, it's kind of crazy how I went from like not being able to go a day without coffee. Isn't that kind of crazy? Okay. I was having it every, every single day. One, the Starbucks addiction was absurd for a long time. That was like our everyday routine. Um, but now I've just realized that like, I get kind of antsy, shaky, and like just don't really feel great if I have both pre-workout and coffee. So I did Stim Free for like over a month. Actually, I went through a whole tub of it and I still will take it like if I am working out later in the day, Jay will take it if like he's gonna do like a, you know, whether it's like a workout later in the day and he ran in the morning or something like that. Um, but I, right now I'm taking my normal one and I only have to take like three fourths a scoop or so. And that's plenty for me. So also this one, most of them have beta alanine in the women's ones. Um, but well, it's called women's, but like anyone can take it. But this one does not because I don't like that like itchy tingly feeling. So neither the stim free or the women's one has it. But the all-in-one, which is the blue one, Jay likes that like tingly, itchy feeling and stuff, and like a lot of people do with their pre-workout, but I think that it kind of makes me feel like almost kind of antsy in the gym. So uh, yeah, just a little rundown, because I know it can be confusing. Like people don't know what what is what and like what you're ordering, and I want to make sure you are getting what you like in a pre-workout. And now we've got to go drop off my car to get an oil change. It's definitely overdue, and then time for workout.
finished my workout. I had a good back and body workout. And now I'm gonna make my ninja cream in it. And y'all, I don't know if it was like the stress of like a couple weeks of um, like getting into the house and oh my gracious. And like getting everything situated, carrying stuff, and like just, I don't know, like not sleeping super well. Um, my back is absolutely killing me. So I like it's so weird. It's like right here. And I noticed it was like that in college a lot. That like when I'm stressed, I like hold tension right there. And like no matter how much I stretch, I need to continue to stretch, obviously. But it's so annoying. It like comes in waves and it always is the stress and like I'm not stressed anymore so can it go away? Like I don't feel stressed. Leave my body pain on my back but I also need to figure out like how to not hold okay this needs to melt a little bit so I'll put that on there um how to like not hold so much tension because I know like even when I'm on my computer I'm like eh. but let's talk about wow I look 10 I look 10 for this self 10 Maybe someday. Let's chat about the day. Also, I also want to ask for recommendations for cleaning supplies because, so I have this, it's a daily granite cleaner, but like I'm still seeing where it didn't, no, it did clean well. It just seems like things are like shimmery. No, I feel like I need, I need something a little bit heavier duty for my granite. What do y'all use for granite? This one's Trinova, and I feel like it's good for, like, it's called a daily granite cleaner. But I think it's, like, very, um, is someone at the door? It seems like it's very gentle, and I think I need something for, like, once a week to kind of, like, deep clean around here. Um, so, yeah, there's that. I have, like, a couple random errands I need to run. I have check-ins that I need to do. Um, my sister's going to be here, run to Lululemon to grab a couple of things. I haven't been in there for a while, and I see that they have a color called lipstick, and it's so pretty. So I need to do that, and or I want to do that, I should say, if I have time. And my car right now is getting, I went there for an oil change, and it, <laughs> of course I went to go pick it up, and they were like, you need your tires aligned, you need your tires rotated, you need your windshield wipers this, you need this, you need that. It was like over $500 when I already have the package for getting an oil change. So I asked Jay, I was like, is that normal? And he went in there and like talked to the guy, itemized stuff because obviously like they're going to try and they're going to try and add things on because it's a dealership and like a car repair place. Um, but Jay was like, those are probably all things you need. So car stuff is so expensive. Ugh. But I'm gonna get some work done. I'm going to kind of like write my agenda for the day and then we'll get it started. Make my Ninja Creamy. It's been like my favorite. I've been going back and forth. Like do I like Ninja Creamy right after my workout because it's kind of like a protein shake, but also I kind of like it at night as a snacky snack treat type thing. So um, also I heard that if you put bananas in there instead of like the sugar-free Jello, that also can work to make it like a little bit thicker and more of an ice cream consistency. So if you're weird about like sugar-free Jello, that's a good option as well. I personally, I don't eat many things that have like additives or I don't eat many things that are processed. So I personally do not think it hurts me to have a uh, one serving of sugar-free jello a day. Because the rest of my stuff's like whole foods and stuff, so it doesn't like mess with my stomach at all. Hello. Hello. I'm gonna get some work done and I will chat with y'all in a little bit. Okay, my sister is over right now and we're gonna do slowly coming together and we're decorating some stuff around the house. Super excited because I've actually had these prints from Decenio for a while now since we've been in the apartment. But I got a couple extras because I'm like, I won't know until I'm in the space, until all the furniture is in its spot. And we're gonna try and like mess around with, we don't have one thing up on the walls, not a single thing. And at the apartment, we didn't have a single thing either because I have a very hard time deciding what goes where. And, uh, but I've been excited about these prints because we're doing like very earthy tones, bringing in some like sage colors. And I know that I wanna do something with this entryway area. Not sure what I'm gonna do about like an entryway table. And then also we have like these smaller windows above the bed in the primary room. And I feel like I need something in between 
the headboard and the small windows. So let's go through some little design ideas we've got. And then I also have something that I wanna put in the office. So thank you so much Asenio for sponsoring today's YouTube video. I'm so excited about this one because I've actually seen a lot of people talk about Asenio for probably years now. And I'm like the day that I can actually make up my mind what color scheme I want and what I want hung up on the walls, we're ordering some prints. So um, yeah, let's get to it y'all. And my sister has an eye for creativity, for interior design. And I really, I, I never know. I'm like, I know I like these things separate, but I don't know how to put everything together. So she's gonna be put to work today. Aren't you, Shell? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll show you kind of like what area of the house we're in. But actually, I can already tell I love this. Yeah. Um, so we're right when you walk in front door, which it's like this big bare wall. And I've just known, not us standing here while I chat with you. <laughs> okay, but what do we think about this one? So the reason that I haven't put a frame on it yet is because I need to get a console table. Is that what it's called? No, entryway table. Either, yeah. But I'm thinking that like a dark wood one, what do you think? Mm -hmm. A dark wood one to kind of like tie in with the flooring and then also get a dark wood entryway table. Okay, I love this. I've already decided this definitely goes this right here. For this it's thing. just a matter of, it's the perfect size. Yes, I'm obsessed with this actually. Okay, so we, I don't even need your input on that because I love it. <laughs> Okay, we're in the bedroom now, and today the mattress is actually supposed to be delivered, so I'm excited for that because now it's time to get this room put together. I've kind of like put this room on the back burner as well. It's only been a week. We're, we're actually getting there. The fact that we're even talking about artwork is, is a good time. Nice. It is a good time. So this one is very much so, like we're going for earthy tones like I was saying, so this one I'm thinking is going to go in between the headboard and these windows. What do we think about this? Because I don't know if I should be putting artwork because I also could get two small prints and put one right here and then one on the other side of the bed with the nightstand. So I'm kind of going back and forth. This just seems like there's too much room in here to not have something there. What do you think? I agree. Because I think, it, are you going to have lamps? We are going to have lamps. Because yeah. that will kind of also be in the way of some photos or any kind of prints. But I think... With a frame, gold or black? What do you think? I know, I keep going back and forth because I also have um, a frame TV and I don't think I liked the look of a white frame around my frame TV. And so that's kind of why I've like waited on a frame for this. Spider. Oh, where? Where? Right here. Hang on, move There's a spider web over here, isn't there? Where am I hanging from? <laughs> Dude, there's a spider up there too. You see it? No, but oh yes. <laughs> Dude. Welcome to a new build. Okay. Regardless, we're kind of thinking on this one. I think we're gonna wait on this one, but for sure the entryway table one and I keep saying entryway table, entryway one and then this one, we gotta think on what kind of frame. Frame colors, yeah. Because our flooring is dark, but then this has kind of like a cherry red, what would you call this? Kind of like a reddish red, a reddish red, a reddish brown wood. Yeah, I would say. I have a hard time like mixing all the woods. I'm learning to kind of like have some contrast of different woods and that they look together, they look fine together. Okay, so this is our vision. If you have any ideas on that one, let's move on to the one that we have for the office and I already have vision for that one. Okay, we've moved on to the office and as you guys can tell, we've had, uh, We've only, we're piece by piece furnishing this place, but um, we're doing lots of like black, neutral. Jay wants it as neutral as can be and like somewhat masculine, but we also need to tie in some Sydney, you know? Um, but this is the rug that we were using in the apartment and for the living room, matter of fact, that's how small of a space we had compared to here. And then the same desk that we had at the apartment. But here, Here's the thing, this is the bathroom that's off of the office and this is actually like a Jack and Jill bath and there is like this empty wall. Since we have all of these windows, I'm not even used to having windows in bathrooms and I just, I feel like this needs to have something here. And actually Shelby's who said that this would look good right here and I think, I think that she's right. I think that this would go really well in this space. So what I'm thinking is this right here. I think that this would work really well. And then uh, I just ordered a shower curtain and it's gonna be kind of like have a little bit of a sage green color. 
so very neutral and like aesthetic, but still masculine enough. Like we're not we're not going crazy in here since this is gonna be. I told Jay I'm like we're gonna we're gonna do uh, something simple in here, but also still keep it cute. We're not putting like sporting event type things, sporting event, you know, whatever. Okay, so y'all are seeing my vision, right? You're with me. You know I'm very indecisive when it comes to stuff like this, but I actually, I feel like we, we made some progress on this. Definitely going to do the entryway, and also I can show you kind of where that is. So that's gonna be like right here when you walk in the door. And it just, it's very, it's very open, but I can't do like too much. I've got to keep this entryway table super thin or else it's going to feel like the second you walk in the door, you're kind of bang a huge, a huge um, table in your face. So I'm going to make sure that it's just a very skinny entryway table. And then also the print above that's going to look really, really nice. I just know it. Um, so now it's time to shop for an entryway table to go underneath it. But I'm going to put this in my description box along with the prints that I got in case you want to do the same Really, there's so many options. Even when I typed in like neutral, tried to find earthy tone ones, there are so many to choose from, but you can do Sydney X Summer to get 45% off prints. And I was just telling my sister that, and she's like, okay, I'm using that immediately. Like that is a very, very good deal. And that is going to be until June 26th. So make sure to jump on that. And don't wait until you've lived in a space for 20 years, like I typically will do. And I just think it's gonna really bring together all of the different pieces in here and I'm really excited for how it turns out. So I'll keep you guys posted on all of that. Thank you so much to Senio for sponsoring today's YouTube video. And now we're going to put away some stuff. We're gonna get rid of, we've got boxes still sitting around and we're gonna do a little bit more work around here. Yeah, I'll let y'all, I'll let y'all kind of see what we've got going on for the rest of the day, but I'm excited that we're making some progress around here. We really are, lots of home content coming at y'all. We have been moving and grooving and doing all the things. I feel like I hardly even showed my sister here today, but she was in fact here. Also, I was showing her my new Stanley cups and this one I need to wash, but we are, we are rocking with the prettiest, most colorful. Okay, this one, are you guys surprised about this one? Rocking with the Stanley cups, I'm obsessed. Um, but, and also I think these new ones almost have like a little thing where it's not going to spill as easy, uh, or as easily as the other ones, uh, because they almost have like a, I'm sure they would still leak if you put them upside down because they are cut. They're not like a water bottle or anything. We've been moving in group and because I had to send out, I pay my taxes quarterly. So I had to go to, gosh, anything like that just stresses me out a little bit, but I had to go send out a check and it's so easy. I'm like, why did I not just do that? But like, I always put things like that on the back burner and I'm like, okay, I'll do that. No, just put it on your agenda. The things that you're putting off, just freaking get it done. And my sister has seen a lot of it for my entire life. So it doesn't overwhelm her or stress her out when she's around me necessarily. But something that we talked about was that I stress more about the fact that I'm stressed more than what I've even got to be stressed about, if that makes sense. So, and I guess it's ADHD talking for you because that's something that I've been doing for my entire life where I'll be like, okay, here's my agenda. Where do I put my energy and how much energy do I put towards one thing? And then I need to move on to the next. We're learning, we're learning. And my sister and actually Jay is like amazing about it because if you have ever even seen Jay, he's like the most level person. Like I never see him get stressed out necessarily. No, he, I, I literally don't think he stresses out. Like this is what he does. He's like, I've got a lot to get done and now I'm gonna get it done. Like that's what he does. <laughs> he just gets it done and I'm like, I've got a lot to get done. Should I start this or should I start this? Okay, I'm gonna start this and then I also need to do this and then I also have this. If I don't have enough time, am I gonna get it done? And then if I can't get it done, then I'm gonna be behind on this. Like my brain is, is going a million miles an hour but we're working on having a to-do list. See, sometimes even having a to-do list isn't enough for me and I probably, you guys probably see it because I'm like, I'm here, I'm there. Can you follow where I'm at? But today was probably one of the most productive days, which I know you guys haven't seen a ton, but like I had so much content I had to record um, for just different things for like YouTube and TikTok and um, Instagram. And like just, I had a lot of moving pieces that I needed to get done today because the last couple of weeks have kind of been chaos a little bit. Okay, microwave, I hear you girl, I hear you. Making some food right now and Where's my leftover ground 
So I feel like I have a lot of moving pieces right now, but today my sister is very good at saying like, okay, this is what we're gonna do. I think it would make more sense to do this first and then you do this. And you wanna know what? We knocked out so much, it's not even funny. So it's 5.40 right now. I'm gonna make something to eat and then I'm gonna sit down and do some check-ins. We put um, the black desk that was in the apartment in the office that Jay's gonna use, but I'm actually going to use it for the next couple days as well. We'll both just use it. Because my office, my desk, we've had some drama with the, not drama, but we booked a handy guy, if you guys have never used handy before. And he was supposed to come on Saturday and then Saturday morning we're like, hey, you still good for noon? No, actually it was Friday night. We were at dinner and I was like, I gotta make sure this handy guy is coming. Messaged him and he's like, yeah, can you send me the links of like the items that I'm doing? And I was like, wait, okay, like that's fine. But like I already said what I was going to use or what I was having you do. And then um, you can't send links through handy. So he was like, I'll just give you my phone number. And so Jay was texting him and saying like, hey, like these are the links to everything. Like here's what needs to be done. And the guy was like, well, you know, that's actually going to take eight hours rather than like the four hours that we allotted for and it's going to be extra each hour and like honestly that's I don't have time for that and like I can do some of the projects. Okay, long story short, we're like, okay, well what can you do? If you can do the TV stands, that's ideal, like just knock those out and then he like last second on Saturday canceled like an hour before. So my desk isn't done, like we plan on going into this week, my desk being done, my chair being done. I wanted to get in there and get work done. Also, it's detached from the house, the office, so we were supposed to have Spectrum send pods so that we could have Wi-Fi out there and um, haven't received those. And also my TV stands, I think I've already explained that a little bit in like a previous vlog, yesterday's vlog, about how it's a pack of two. They sent it in four boxes, I only got two boxes. So I was thinking in my head, well maybe it doesn't come as a pack of two, so I ordered two more. Turns out the other two packages were just late in transit, still haven't received those, but then I'm gonna have another two coming. Oh, I'm just like, okay, what? I'm gonna have to have more handy guys come because Jay's hardly ever even here during the day. Like Jay is like moving and grooving for real estate stuff. He also is a fitness coach, so like he tries to knock out that stuff. Um, like whether he goes to a coffee shop or whatever it is. So he, just like me, we don't have time to sit around and build stuff because it would take us way longer than like what it would take a handy guy. So nothing's done. I felt like I just, I feel very unorganized with everything that I need done and it's really not the end of the world. Like I need to keep reminding myself, girl, it's really, it's just not the end of the world. It's not. Everything's gonna get done. We're okay. Like my man, I have a management team um, and they're amazing. Like thank the good Lord for my management team and everyone who helps me. Um, but I will say this much. I'll get on the phone with my management team and I'll be like, okay i'm stressed out i don't even know what to do <laughs> and i'll kind of just seem overwhelmed because i don't know this is all new for me you know this is all new i have done social media for a while but like i haven't really done i was really just doing online coaching and then like posting as i wanted to with my life but like since i decided to kind of make social media also a very big part of my full-time job it it's just sometimes i get overwhelmed because it's like Okay, I've got all this stuff for social media to do, but completely unrelated, I also have a whole job that I do coaching that I have to be sitting down in front of a computer for so long and I can't check my phone and do all the things. Yeah, am I stressing you guys out now? <laughs> but I will say I was very, very productive today. I feel really, really good about the day. It was a solid Monday. Also got my car, I got my oil changed. And that was good because I was kind of, I wasn't putting it off, but I was like, when do I have time to get dropped off and then go back and get it? Um, and it was like saying like oil change soon. And as soon as it said like, you need an oil change, you know, oil change due, I did it. We got it done. I didn't put it off any longer. The rest of the night, I am going to sit here, knock out some check-ins and also, Going to edit a couple TikToks, do some things around here. And last night we did like a night reset. We're gonna do it every single night where we just do like a good little cleanup. So I will take you guys along through that, like a good nighttime routine. I also am wondering if I should wash my hair tonight. I like try to be very strategic with what my hair washing day is just because, well, 
Am I doing legs tomorrow? Oh, I'm running tomorrow morning. <gasps> I probably should wash my hair tonight because I sweat a lot when I'm running. We'll wash our hair tomorrow night. That's okay. We can put off hair washer in the middle of the night. I'm fine with that. I'm gonna get some dinner and I will chat with y'all in a little bit. We're just doing our, I need to get through this ground turkey. You know, that's why I don't buy bulk at Sam's Club when it comes to only something I'm gonna have when, it, when it's like meat or something because Jay does 98 or 99% ground turkey and I need like, I used to do that and it just tastes so dry once you have 93. So I did 93, but now like I feel guilty eating my like frozen fish because I've got so much ground turkey to get through. <laughs> I'm like, I don't really want another bite of ground turkey, dang it. Got back from our nightly walk. I will say probably one of my favorite things about living in a neighborhood is having somewhere to walk. What did you say, Jay? Absolutely. Like it's just so nice, like not having to live like in an yeah i know we have a neighborhood <laughs> which like we lived on like such a busy street like i didn't even like living when we lived in the apartment like i didn't even like walking obviously would not walk alone but like jay we didn't even do that because it just was so much traffic and chaos and it wasn't really relaxing <laughs> we would go everyone so we did do a lot of walks there but not nearly as much as what we've been doing here and what i'm excited to do here so i I'm going to continue with some work kind of behind tonight. Not behind, but I've got kind of a lot to do left and it's already nine o'clock. So where does the time go? We only have so many hours in the day. I'm like, can we just have like three, four more hours? That's all. Jay's morning lemon juice and <laughs> lemon water. <laughs> I'm trying to decide what the heck I want to wear for leg day today. I've been wearing leggings more lately. Have you guys noticed that? I was saying that it was because my self tan is all messed up, but I honestly have really liked wearing them lately. Like I would never even look at my leggings for a leg day before this. I don't know, we'll see, maybe we'll do Maybe we'll pick a sports bra first and then we'll go from there. And then I definitely am going to wear my Reebok Nanos because these are my leg day shoes right now. I did like Nike Metcons. I would say it's between Nike Metcons and the Nanos. I've got my Metcons over here somewhere. But um, it's between those two. I would say like right now I have been liking the Reebok ones for sure. Oh, wait, my legs are actually really sore. My legs are sore from running. I originally was thinking I was gonna run this morning with Jay, and then I was like, I've been sore for days after running on Saturday with him, so I don't know if I really want to do more than once a week, so I think we're just gonna do Saturdays together. But like, I have legs today, and I still feel like my calves are like, very sore from running. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, we could do a brown set. That would be cute. If my brown leggings are not dirty. This really, it's not that deep. Why do I take this long to decide on an outfit? To work out. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I fully realize that. Oh, I just don't know what my vibe is right now for this leg day. It's a very serious matter. Clearly. Okay, so I have these leggings. Ooh, yeah, I'll take that. <gasps> Wait, yes, let's do this outfit. Okay, that's gonna be cute. We're going with it. We are going with it. Flow Y bra, Align leggings. 
Y'all know the drill. Always going to be a flow eyebrow. Okay, look how good this looks. I love this outfit. This is so cute. So, so cute. I actually ordered some stuff off of Lululemon and I'm really, really excited. I think that I'm gonna do like a whole haul for that. Do you guys want like a Lululemon haul of like my favorites and then also some new stuff this weekend when I get all of that in or do you guys prefer just like seeing it in a vlog for that? Cause I haven't really ever, I've never done that Lululemon stuff, but I feel like it would help showing like my sizes and also like the fit of things on. And then they've gotten some good new arrivals in. So I'm excited for that. But here's my leg day outfit. I'm gonna wear my Reebok Nanos and let's get to it. These are also, I've shown these to you guys before, the only socks. I've like replaced my all my socks with these ones. They're the Hue. I'll link them, but they're from Amazon. And they are actually the best socks ever. I'm obsessed. I normally do a little bit of makeup when I am working out if I have self-tan on. Mostly because I don't self-tan my face, so I just feel loco if my face is uh, seven shades lighter in my body. But also, if you wanna wear makeup to work out, do what you want. <laughs> First of all, people were like, are you wearing makeup to the gym? Like they would say that to people, but now I feel like people don't really say that kind of stuff because I don't know, like when you're working out, like you want to feel good. And of course, my biggest thing is like why I don't always wear makeup to work out or like to run and stuff like that. I mean, I've ran like once, but to like go do stuff like that is because um, I have very acne prone skin. So I have to be pretty careful, but lately I've just been washing my face when I get home and I won't have makeup on all day sometimes. So I'm just trying to like minimize how much I, do you guys remember if you've been here for a long time? Also Echo is really bad in this bathroom, so I'm sorry about that. If you've been here for a long time, then you probably remember how much I used to touch my face. I've gotten so much better about that. And um, I used to like drive and have my hand on my chin and I just I would touch my face all the time so I've gotten a lot better about that because in the gym the gym is just disgusting but I would like touch my face and it was just a, a habit I got toothpaste on my on my lip still um it was just a habit when I was working out to be like you know lift and then I'm like sitting there with my hand on my face ew disgusting like that's so gross So we need to wash our makeup brushes because I promised y'all I was going to do that with this set of makeup brushes and we're doing that. I got to do it. I'll do it tonight. Hold me to it. Because I need it. How often do you guys wash your makeup brushes? Like do you guys do that every week or, or how often? Because I'm sure I do it less than what the average human does. I'm sure. 
go with it. Okay, we're all one shade now. We are all one shade. Feel a little better. We got the Benefit lip tint. Under lip gloss, always. And then this is the Refi lip gloss. Brilliant, I think is what it is, but it's the Refi one. And then Hourglass brow stuff, and this is Arch, and it is in Warm Brunette. Okay. Do it for real now. Let's go take our pre workout and then hit the road, Jack. Also, I didn't even show you what my pre workout snack was this morning, but I can show you now. It was light multi grain. Oh, I need to get more of these. Light multi grain of the English muffins, and then I did some PB2, and then I did blueberries and some strawberries on it. Little leg day fuel. Came in here for pre workout. Let me grab my pre workout. Okay, we're gonna use. Where's my Stanley cup? Alright, doing the regular pre workout, and then um, they actually are restocking, 1 ups restocking on Stim Free today. So, I know a couple of y'all were like, the Stim Free sold out, and like if you don't do caffeine, and or you wanted to try that, then um, that's restocking today, which means that it has already restocked when you guys are seeing this. But I'm not doing that right now. Okay. Feeling good after leg day. I uh, am headed home right now. Gonna eat, get to work and whatnot and have a successful little Tuesday. But happy Tuesday, y'all. Okay, here's what we've got on the agenda today, folks. It's actually kind of gloomy out. I hope it's not raining today. 
Um, I am not sure I'm going to see my mom today. My sister's picking her up from the airport, so I might see them in a little bit. Um, my sister and I live like probably, uh, I don't know, like 30 something minutes away from each other, but my mom is actually staying with her for a couple nights and then she'll stay with us this weekend, which I'm super excited about. If you guys remember last time my mom was here, she was not feeling good at all this summer. I don't know if she had like I can't remember if it was like from a new medication or if it was like, I don't know what she thought that she had going on, but remember she was like super nauseous and we could hardly even spend any time together because she just wasn't feeling good. So I've been counting down the moments until she's back. Uh, my mom lives in Ohio, so I don't get to see her very often at all whatsoever. So I just, they're precious moments when I do get to see her. So tomorrow I know for sure, cause my sister comes over here pretty often to work now. And I think that both of them will come here tomorrow. And then yesterday I went to my sister, I went with my sister to go pick up my car from the dealership. And we went and picked up Ty from daycare together. And I was able to see him for a couple of minutes. And I was like, I just, I've never loved a human so much. Like I just love him so, so much. And so I hope I get to see him probably tomorrow as well. But I just think today I want to knock out as much as I can so that tomorrow I'm not like stressed while I'm around them. And then also since my mom, I think is staying with us starting on, it's either Thursday or Friday. Um, I want to have all of my online coaching stuff done, programming for new clients um, or for actually it's not, I'm not taking new clients right now, but for my continuing clients of their new programming. And so having that all done for the new week and everything so that I can just enjoy, enjoy some time with my mom and just go out to eat and do some fun things together. And also tomorrow, like I said, was my brother-in-law's, um, it's my brother-in-law's 30th birthday. So I think we're going to celebrate this weekend with everyone. So yeah, that's what's going on around here. And I'm just going to knock out some work, try and get some stuff done around the house and that's it, my mattress. I got a notification that my mattress gets delivered today. So that's gonna be exciting because currently only have the queen, but like the king's gonna be here today. So that's good. I have not gotten my um, insert for my duvet in or my duvet cover. I haven't decided on a duvet cover. I'm like trying to decide, do I want to do a white one or do I wanna switch it up a little bit? Because I don't know, it's been a lot of white and like we've just, I was saying this morning, I was like, I'm in my colorful era. Like I feel so good in colors. Like I have not even hardly been wearing black nearly as much as what I was. And now I just wanna wear all the fun matching sets. I wanna put color in the house. I want to kind of just expand it. Right now you wouldn't really think, it's very neutral right now, but I'm, I'm slowly adding some color in here. So I'm like, do I do a very neutral, maybe like a linen, like a, I don't know, like an ivory linen color duvet and then like have some pops of color elsewhere. I, I'm not sure because I think like even like a sage green comforter sounds cute too. Clearly I have no idea, but I did order a duvet insert. So at least that will be here soon. And I think I got it from Amazon. So I think that will be here tomorrow. Actually, it was like one day shipping. And I told Jay, I was like, the king's coming in today. He's like, okay, is there um, even like a comforter for that? And I was like, I should probably order that right now. And then I already have white sheets, which I got from Brooklinen. I love Brooklinen, you guys know that. But I'm like, do I want white sheets again? I don't know, I want like more than one set. But I was thinking like maybe like a fun, I got some floral ones to go in the guest room. I think those will be here. I got those off of Amazon. And maybe I'll order like a cute color if we do a white comforter for the king bed, if that makes sense. Like I'll do either one or the other, like white sheets, color duvet, or vice versa. But that's gonna be here today, and I know you guys have seen lots of home content, but I'm also looking for some gym equipment because Jay and I are doing a home gym, and it's kind of in Jay's realm for a little bit, and like we've put together some options. We are looking at Torque, uh, like T-O-R-Q-U-E, if you guys have ever heard of Torque Fitness. Uh, our friend Isaac, which you guys might know Allison and Isaac, um, Jay had dinner with Isaac and they were talking about it and Torque is what he has in his home gym. And he's really liked it. So we were like, okay, well that might be a good option. I don't know, there's so many brands out there and you guys have all given me lots of recommendations. I just am like, I don't even know where to start. I don't know what to choose for a, uh, for a treadmill. And cause I don't need anything crazy, but I also want a nice one cause Jay likes to run on it. I don't really like to run on a treadmill, but um, like I want something that I can walk in like tight. So it's got to have something where I can put like the tray 
to type on and yeah searching for a treadmill and I just I bought a Peloton a couple years ago if you guys remember sure you guys remember it like collected dust and I just don't want to make a huge purchase like that and then have it like not be used to its full advantage because I've like gone back and forth like do I want to stairmaster because I can technically just like do like walking and running outside but I also want to be able to do emails and stuff on the treadmill I don't want a walking pad in my office I want my office to be very like I want to separate things just a little bit. So like when I'm in my office, I want it to be very like relaxing, cute, aesthetic. And then if I want to do some typing on a treadmill, go out to the garage. Also need to get a giant fan for the garage. We've got a lot, I have nothing. I mean, we ordered, I think, I think Jay said that he ordered, I don't know where he got it from, but the gym equipment or the gym flooring. And it's supposed to be like, I think it's just like rubber sheets and stuff to go down but i think he said it was like 800 pounds coming in 800 pounds so i'm not really sure how that works there jay claims that he's done his research on how to install it jay is in his like i'm gonna get everything done myself we don't need to outsource it and you know more power to him i'm thankful for that because i uh i don't know how to do anything when it comes to all that kind of stuff i'm sure i could figure out some things but like painting the outside of the house like jay did nope nope i'd be calling up someone or other um so yeah that's all happening you guys are gonna see the home gym come together and i'm actually really excited for that we've been talking about it over and over again like that's like our number one conversation that we've been having lately is like man i'm so excited for a home gym like we're gonna be able to record all the time we're gonna be able to do mic'd up workouts together and you guys have to give it to me i have some people will comment on my stuff like in my old gym Thankfully, I found a new gym so I can record a little bit more, but I still try and like not have anyone in the background. I was going to a gym and like it's Bayshore Fit, which if you are around Tampa, that was a great gym and everything. But um, I don't think it's really like a recording gym. Like I definitely like, you're not supposed to have tripods, you're not supposed to do all of that, which I completely understand respect because it's a super small gym. But I will say like I was having to kind of like prop my phone up here and there, put my phone, and like I just wasn't able to like get the angles that I wanted. I wasn't able to bring as much workout content and like, like there's no reason to have workout content if it's just like one clip here and there and you're not even understanding like what I'm doing or what my workout looks like. So I'm really just ready to bring, bring back the fitness content. I've been posting more on TikTok, posting more on Instagram with fitness and like workout videos and just feel like I'm, I feel like I'm back in the groove of things and I'm excited about it. I love sharing like what I'm doing in the gym and also I had a little hiatus in there for a little bit. I was, I don't know, like not in my lifting. I, I just was not like in the mode of lifting and I kind of like steered away from it for a little bit and I don't know why because I know how good I feel when I'm consistently doing a split and like when I'm lifting weights and I feel far better than when I just like get in my head and I'm like, oh, I'll just do spin classes and I'll just do berries and I'll do camp and I'll, and, like there's nothing wrong with doing workout classes, but like it is insane how much progress I've made in just a couple weeks, honestly, in a month of just saying, okay, to heck with that. Like I'm done just like going through the motions on things and like it's great to do things that you enjoy, but also like if you really want to see results with your physique or your strength, like it's so important to be consistent with a split and I think that break was really good for me to kind of like get excited about lifting and I had like a lot of talks with Jay where I was like I just I don't know like I don't really like feel like I'm like I'm not sure what I want to do with my workouts like I'm not really like inspired and like motivated and he's just like you know you feel better and you're more confident and you feel stronger and you just you love lifting and so just stick to it and you know I needed that little like reminder and push to do that because that is i mean i feel great i honestly do and i feel strong and excited to like get under a barbell and stuff so yeah that um that just made me more excited to share fitness stuff with you guys so i hope you guys like it i hope you guys have been liking seeing like what i'm doing in the gym and confident enough to bring a tripod into the gym after years of after years of doing this for a job so uh it should be also getting a little bit better of quality as well. I'm gonna knock out some check-ins. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit, but I just wanna check in with you. Also, real quick, I'm wearing this Isla outfit. It's by, uh, actually I've shown this to you guys just a couple weeks ago. I was wearing it too, and I need to get another set like this because I love it. And it's just the comfiest thing ever and no front seam. Adorable. Underneath this honking bowl that's actually overflowing, there's more than just avocado. I went and wanted to show you how pretty this avocado is. Sam's Club avocados, unbeatable. <laughs> they are unmatched. 
I understand the jasmine rice hype that Jay has now because I'm doing jasmine rice with some ground turkey in there and I also have the Thrive Salsa. It's been my go-to but now I'm doing some jasmine rice with it. Mm. And lots of avocado. Okay, I wanted to chat with y'all for a little bit. I'm outside doing some work but I originally was like, I'm gonna show you guys today. I'm gonna take you guys through the day and do all the things and like I don't think that there's much going on today. Don't mind the traffic going by, what on earth? Um, but I am really just gonna knock out some computer work and originally I was gonna like set up the master room and everything when the mattress gets here. But if you guys remember that Jay got in a car accident not too long ago, a couple months ago maybe by now, um, he got his car back yesterday, but he is still having like neck and back pain. So he's in bed right now, kind of, he's hurting a little bit and he just got back from the doctor this morning. So I, just am trying to have a very laid back, quiet day rather than being like, let's get all the home stuff done and let's unbox a mattress and let's set up a king bed and do all the things. So other than that, we, we're really just gonna lay low, especially since my mom's coming in town. So there's gonna be a lot happening in the next couple days. For now, I'm just going to end off this vlog. I love y'all, I adore y'all. Thanks so much for watching the last couple days. I'm gonna have everything from Desenio linked in my description box and I always link everything I talk about as much as I can in my description box anyways. And I will see you guys in my next vlog. I love y'all, I adore y'all, and I'll see y'all next time.